I'm Jim Rice, I'm the Deputy Director at the MIT Center for Transportation and Logistics. My line of research is a continuation of what I've been doing for 15 years now. Wow. And that's uh, been in the area of risk management or resilience, particularly. And the work has evolved such that I really want to try to understand how companies can make that financial decision to make an investment in supply chain resilience. There is not a standard approach that companies have for making investments in resilience. My name is Joseph Coughlin. I'm director and founder of the MIT Age Lab here at the Center for Transportation and Logistics. So the history of the Age Lab was very simple. We were interested in mobility, where people live, and to help them get around. So we're now looking at things such as, what is the future of automation? How will the autonomous vehicle change how we live and where we live? How will automation change the home? The future of home services. Think about the logistics of living at home, having everything delivered, not just for convenience, but for care in old age. My name is Chris Kaplis, and I'm the director and founder of the MIT Freight Lab. And we focus our research into four main buckets, because what we're really trying to do is improve the state of transportation in the design, procurement, management, and assessment for all modes across all regions. In the short tagline, it's all about studying anything that moves. If it moves, then I want to know about it. I want to study it. I'm Eva Ponce. I'm research associate at MIT, the Center for Transportation and Logistics, where I'm leading the, the research line in omnichannel distribution strategies. Based on the project I have conducted here at the center, uh, we, I, I identify two main challenges. The first one is the companies need to redesign the distribution strategies. And the second one is uh, I believe that the role of the different actors in the supply chain is changing because the customer now is looking for more than just go and grab a, uh, the product. Mm -hmm. They are looking for a customer experience. So my name is Matthias Winkenbach. I'm the director of the Megacity Logistics Lab here at uh, MIT CTL, a lab that is mostly concerned about last mile logistics and all the different challenges related to it. We are working with predominantly with companies on addressing the main challenges of how to serve large urban centers more efficiently and uh, also with how to design innovative distribution uh, models to these large centers of, of urban demand. Of late, I'm leading a new research initiative here at CTL, which is the Visual Analytics Lab. So we started thinking about how can we provide a better way of people, uh, for people to interact with data and with complex quantitative decision support tools. And that's how the whole thought process around the Visual Analytics Lab started. My name is Josue Velasquez. My area of research is sustainable logistics. Uh, there is a market shift uh, that is actually moving towards uh, green consumers, green products, and a lot of pressure for regulation. So the reality is that now that we have a lot of companies that are looking at this uh, sustainability criteria, and, uh, and many of these, uh, let's say, impacts are actually created because of logistics operations. Well, uh, usually when we study supply chain management, we have a tendency to focus on large firms in developed countries, right? Mm -hmm. Which actually represent like less than 1% of all the firms in the world. So 99% of the firms are actually small firms, you know, less than 50 employees. And uh, what is happening in the world is that these companies are having tons of problems, you know, in terms of productivity and the uh, lack of efficiency in many practices, business practices, and also supply chain management practices. <laughs> I'm Jared Gensel. I'm a researcher at the Center for Transportation and Logistics. So there's, there's two lines of research in our lab. One focuses on the work we started with, and that is emergency response. How do you enable markets to be resilient so that they can respond to human needs in crisis, but also provide a backbone for ongoing needs of the population? Some of the assumptions we make in our typical supply chain models and our management approaches assume a, a, a well-established and mature marketplace um, with risks and financial flows that are fairly well regulated and, and uh, understood. And when you change that in an emerging market, uh, the, the management principles and the design principles for your supply chain change with that. Our recent work has really focused on planning better ahead of time uh, in, in, in advance of a disaster. So we've developed an analytical tool 
to assess the capacity to, to meet human needs following a disaster. So we, we leveraged some insights on how the commercial sector actually can, can set up its inventory strategy to meet the consumer needs and looked at, well, for specific commodities, how can we assess the placement of strategic stockpiles in advance of a disaster in various locations.